new Asian Cobra building um, donated by the family and friends of Andrew Graham, a volunteer at the Kentucky Reptile Zoo, and a friend who passed away. Inside the new Asian Cobra building, um, as you enter, um, we've got a, several cages in so far, but we're still moving it, the cages in. Eventually, this building will house about 200 to 300 Asian Cobras. Thermostat for keeping the heat in the building set at an ambient temperature of about 80 degrees. Light sockets um, in the, in, or excuse me, electrical sockets in the ceiling. Numerous ones. Peter Lindsay, one of the gentlemen who works for us, said the more the merrier. You can always use more electricity in a reptile room. Propane heater for emergency heat. Power box, power bre with uh, the breakers. Air conditioner from during the summer when it gets too warm. Dug bar cages. We found that these cages work pretty well for us. Um, they have a divider that we can use to trap off the animals on one side and clean, or we can keep a male and female separated until breeding season and then open up the trap system so that they can breed. Cage is light, easy to carry, and easy to clean. Most important thing is ease with which to clean the cage to keep all the bacteria down. We use cypress mulch for cobras to keep the humidity up to help them with shedding. We've had no problems with ingestion of the uh, mulch. The cages are stacked six high, and that ends up being about 12 um, cages in a stack. <laughs> now this is how Kristen works. She sits there while they unload yeah, the I cages. Watch. I supervise. Supervise. So this is what it's curated. Yeah, that's right. And this is what we make our employees do. Smash John. This is the finished product of moving all the nausea koothi into the new building. Some of the snakes we covered to calm them down. They, they're upset. I'll show you in a second why they, we're covering them up. They'll sometimes get stressed out and strike at the cage and we don't want them hurting themselves. 
There's 200 nausea kuthi in this room. This is part of the reason we uh, are covering them up. You can see how the animal's hooded up. If there's too much movement, the animal will strike and bust up its rostral scale. So we're trying to keep them as calm as possible. All these that are not covered right now will soon be covered up just to make sure they're not as stressed when we're in here working with them. This is nausea kuthia, the Sufan phase. One of the animals we have in the room here. This is actually one of the original breeders from the Columbus Zoo. It's a very old animal. It's actually approaching 30 some years old. And we're not sure how old it was when it first came in because it was a wild caught animal. This is an albino phase of nausea kuthia. This is one of our young nausea kuthia from about two years ago. This is a normal phase. There you go. 